Hey everyone, so I'm going to be uploading this video on Wednesday because I'm actually going to be out of town for the rest of the week and I'm not going to be able to upload a video on Sunday. So this is going to be in supplement of it. There seems to be this sort of notion in the social science and intellectual realm that that wearing makeup means you're an oppressed female and that you give in to society's standards and ideas about beauty. That wearing makeup is a weakness and, and should only be worn if absolutely necessary. I think this comes from the idea that anything feminine is bad and that qualities, traits, ideas, etc. that are masculine are good. We see this also manifest itself, of course, in other ways as well. For example, oftentimes men will shame each other by calling them pussies or sissies or bitches. And these are all ways of calling other men weak or stupid or feminine even. Because there's nothing worse than being a woman. This type of behavior comes from hypermasculinity and our culture's obsession with all things male. Really anything that's feminized or associated with the female gender in any way is definitely seen and talked about in a more negative light than things that are masculine. And if men tend to like more feminine activities or things like makeup or fashion or cooking or dance, they are often shamed and made to feel like they're less of a man because of it. Let it be known that there's nothing wrong with being a woman, there's nothing wrong with identifying as a woman, and there's nothing wrong with enjoying things that are feminine or that are for girls, like makeup and jewelry and romance novels. There's nothing wrong at all with liking these things, and it's our culture and our society that turns everything into feminine or masculine, just like we were talking about in our previous discussion about gender. There's nothing wrong with being a woman, there's nothing wrong with being a man, there's nothing wrong with expressing yourself in typical feminine or masculine ways. Do what makes you happy, and let others do what makes them happy, and let's all try to be accepting of one another and not pass judgment because we might not fit the stereotypical idea of what our gender should be expressed like. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.